Our problem is 3 and 4 fifths minus 1 third. What we're doing is we're taking a mixed number and subtracting a proper fraction. For our first method, we're going to ignore our whole number for a few minutes and find the LCD, or least common denominator, for our two denominators. So in this case, our LCD will be 15. Since 15 is the smallest number that's divisible by both 5 and 3. So we start with our top fraction. We take our 15, divide it by 5 to get 3, multiply it by 4 to get 12. Next, we take 15, divide it by 3 to get 5, multiply it by 1 to get 5. Now all we do is subtract our two numerators. So we're going to take 12, subtract 5, that leaves us with 7. We now come back to our whole number, place it down beside our fraction to get a mixed number, which is our final answer, 3 and 7 fifteenths. For our next method, we're going to be working on the problem horizontally. Once again, we're going to take our mixed number of 3 and 4 fifths, turn it into an improper fraction. We take our denominator, multiply it by our whole number to get 15, add our numerator to get 19 fifths. We subtract 1 third. Next, what we're going to do is multiply the two denominators, 5 and 3, to get 15. This will be our new denominator. Next, we're going to cross multiply. Starting at the top left, we take our 19, multiply it by 3 to get 57. Next, we take our 1, multiply it by 5 to get 5. We take 57, subtract 5, and we have 52 for an answer of 52 fifteenths. Once again, this is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. Most of the time you'll be asked to put your answer into a mixed number form. So to do that once again, we take our 15. We ask ourselves how many times does 15 go into 52 without going over. It goes in three times since 15 times 3 is 45. This becomes our whole number. There's 7 left over from 45 to 52. That becomes our new numerator. We put down our denominator of 15 for a final answer of 3 and 7 fifteenths.